What's good ladies and gents, welcome to the MKO Pugilism Boxing Channel where we talk all things boxing. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, put it on all so you get notified as soon as new content drops on the channel. Without further ado, let's get into this one. So we're going to talk about last night's boxing, Friday night on the, uh, I watched it on the Fight TV app. Uh, part of um, Pro Bellum, I believe. And um, the main event was, of course, Sonny Edwards uh, versus uh, Felix Alvarado. This was Sonny Edwards defending his belt um, for the third time. It was up there in Sheffield. And uh, yeah, this was a pretty much a bit of a masterclass by Sonny Edwards. Um, the first, I want to say the first, at least the first half of the fight, first six rounds, was just pure Sonny Edwards. Sonny Edwards was just moving. He was he was he was using his angles, and Alvarado really couldn't um, close him down at all. You know, whatever Alvarado would throw, you know, virtually everything was either blocked or parried, or you know, he he was made to miss and made to miss quite badly uh, because of the sheer movement and the uh, skill of um, Sonny Edwards. He he really did, um, as others have observed, you know, he, he really did make that fight, you know, especially that first half of the fight, he made it look very easy. Um, Alvarado was coming forward, which is, you know, in theory, the right thing to do, but um, he wasn't really setting anything up behind the jab. He was coming forward and you could tell that he was sort of just looking for one big shot. He had a little bit of success to the body where he would throw um, sort of right hooks to the body sometimes. But again, it was always a case of too little, too late. You know, there were not, not enough being done by him. Um, he couldn't really, he would try to get in Edwards' face, but he, he just couldn't really cut him off because every time he tried to get in Edwards' face, um, Edwards would move over to the right or move to the left or, you know, goad him in to throw a shot and then make him miss. And yeah, it was just pure, um, uh, you know, boxing excellence by Sonny Edwards, um, especially during the first half. Alvarado managed to sort of come back into it around, um, I want to say around seven, eight and nine, around that sort of time. Alvarado had a good maybe two to three rounds in that period. But then after that, Edwards during just sort of took back over and it was just more of the same. He was just coasting, get it, goading um, Alvarado in. But then, you know, even when he'd get in, you know, it would, Edwards was loving it off the ropes. So he was teasing him in off the ropes. Alvarado would come in and try to land his shots and his, his team was screaming for the body shots. And when he would sort of come in and try to do that, he'd get Edwards presumably where he wanted him, which was against the ropes. But even there... Um, Edwards was coming off better because he would be able to, he could see what was coming his way and he was able to clip him with these good uppercuts and a lot of these eye-catching shots, even when he was on the rope. So yeah, brilliant, brilliant display by Sonny Edwards. Um, bit of a masterclass. He was saying, obviously he won it by unanimous decision. And um, according to what he said in a post-fight interview, he wants Bam Rodriguez next. I, for one, would love to see that fight. That's a tasty fight. That's a fight that, yeah, brilliant, brilliant fight for the fans. And it'd be exciting because you've got a very aggressive guy in Rodriguez, very, you know, he's skilled, but very aggressive versus the masterful boxing skills of Sonny Edwards, the mover, the guy that just moves and moves and moves and can do it for 12 rounds. So it would be a great uh, clash if Bam Rodriguez and Sonny Edwards were to square off against each other. So anyway, that's just my thoughts on it. You know, one-sided, uh, classy boxing performance by Sonny Edwards. And um, yeah, hello, little one. Yeah, let me know what you think about the fight and who you think uh, Edwards should fight next in the comments section below. And until next time, it's MKO Pugilism. We're over and out. Until next time.